In the waning days of World War II, the Heinkel HE-162 christened the Volksjäger or People's Fighter was born out of necessity. Conceived under the emergency fighter program amidst a dire shortage of metals, this jet fighter's design ingeniously incorporated wood into its construction. The Reich Air Ministry had initiated the Volksjäger competition which the HE-162 triumphantly clinched. Yet it was affectionately dubbed the Salamander, echoing the legendary creature's fireproof nature and spats meaning sparrow by its creators at Heinkel. Compact and streamlined, the HE-162 boasted a distinctive engine mounted atop its frame. This placement coupled with a low set landing gear facilitated maintenance but posed a significant risk for pilots ejecting from the aircraft. Notably, it was the first single engine jet to feature an operational ejection seat. However, its diminutive stature came with some limitations. A meager fuel capacity restricted its endurance to a scant 20 minutes, and it was modestly armed with just two 20mm autocannons. Despite these constraints, the HE-162's legacy was solidified post-war when captured by Allied forces. It underwent extensive trials, earning praise from the esteemed test pilot Eric Brown for its exceptional performance. Today, the Salamander endures not just in the history books, but also in museums across the globe, including the Plains of Fame Air Museum in California as a symbol of resilience and rapid technological advancement in wartime.